So in the middle of this storm, I mean, I mean, literally a tornado's going on. This little booger gets out of the enclosure. What is going on? Oh, I can't see. What? What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Man, 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 today's video was a thriller. So listen, a couple of days ago, I was going to get a uh, black throat monitor and I don't know if you guys remember or not when I made a video a couple of weeks ago um, when I went to my very first reptile shop. I spotted a black throat monitor. Black throat. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's sick. If I had the money to blow, I would. For, I was close. I was close to getting that white throat. If I had the money to blow on it, I definitely would have. And my God, it caught my eye and I wanted it so bad. Um, I told myself if I ever got the money um, to kind of just, you know, blow away at it, I would get it. And lo and behold, about two weeks later, I got the money to do it. Only the IRS said, uh, no, sir, uh, you owe us some coins from five years ago. Crazy, right? Uh, North Carolina Department of Revenue reached out to me and um, didn't even reach out to me. What? No, I never got a notice. I never got anything. And, and I don't know if anybody else has ever dealt with this before, but I never got anything. No notice, no nothing. And now five years later, my account, all my bank accounts got locked. Boom. And I got a notification that said North, North Carolina Department of Revenue is basically looking for you. And so anyway, I call them and come to find out that I owed some taxes back from five years ago. I've never worked in North Carolina. It's, it's super weird. And honestly, I didn't even want to fight it. If somebody knows how to fight it, I would love to know. But, you know, me, my mom, like we were just like, it is what it is because the government's going to take their money. They're going to find a way to take their money. And so that's what happened. Anyway, they did what they did and they took a good amount of money from me. And a lot of that money was going towards this black throated monitor that's over at Tim's Extreme Exotics. And so I had to head over there and talk to him and tell him basically why I couldn't buy this monitor. What's up, brother? What's going How you on, doing? man? You doing all right? I have bad news. Bad news? Yes. I was going to buy the black throat from you. Okay. Last night, um, I get home and the IRS... Get this, the IRS um, wants two dollars out of my pockets from North Carolina. And so- um, So you owed on taxes? It's a whole big deal. I'm trying to fight it right now, but yeah, they put a freeze on my account and took two grand this morning. So- Wait, you put a freeze on your bank account? Yes. I was how, going how to pay- How did they do it that fast without- It was over five years. Over oh. five years. But it was something that happened five years ago. Yeah that they said I never handled, but I've never worked in North Carolina, never done anything except I was born and raised there. Yeah. And I moved off and so now I'm getting penalized for it. So uh, here it we ain't are. Going anywhere. I didn't yeah, it's, can I see it? Yeah. Let me, uh, What's the attitude? Is it, is it a bad attitude or? Yeah, hit and miss. Yeah. Got him there. Oh yeah. A little butterball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry about that dude. Didn't mean to spook you out. Yeah, man, I, over the last couple of weeks, once I saw the, saw him at the, uh, the show, I was like, man, that thing looks sick. Yeah. And like I said, I was prepared. I was ready for it. This one's actually my mom's. Okay. But she decided to keep a lice monitor instead. Oh, yeah. Honestly, I don't blame her. You don't like the camera, do you? Not at all. Those eyes are laser focused. And then you still have a white throat as well, right? I do. You do? That one's a lot bigger and a lot meaner. That one yeah. will actually... Yomp onto you. Oh, yeah. Doesn't want to be too mean. I mean... No, he's, he's just not like, a fan of the camera. Camera, new people. Right. I mean, My tongue's still flicking, so... My mom's here all day, so most of the monitors, you know, she feeds them and mm. she can stick her hand out and... Not a problem. Yeah. Mm. Except for, you know, the white throat and the Sambawa. I mean, most female monitors take a little bit more work. Right. And I know these tame down fairly easy. Oh, yeah. That's what really caught my eye. I'm like, these big monsters that are just dog tame. The IRS puppy. Ooh. Oh. I was trying to get you off my one hand so I can sanitize it because you made a mess on me. 
This the one you said is fairly friendly, right? Oh yeah, I'll get him out next. Okay. Hello. Oh yeah, you're super friendly. He's like, what is that in my face? How long have you had this one? This one since he was about this big. Oh wow. I mean, he was tiny. Wow. Uh, he went to my buddy in Texas for a little bit and then I got him back. So once I broke the news to Tim, also shout out to Tim Exotic, <laughs> Extreme Exotics owned by Tim. Uh, once I left there, I pretty much uh, was just kind of down, but um, I, I still wanted to grab something and I've been to another reptile shop that I hang out at a lot called Exotic Arc and they had a Savannah monitor that caught my eye as well. And I've always had uh, a warm spot, spot, a warm spot in my heart for a Savannah monitor simply because that was the very first monitor that I ever got years ago. And I didn't know what I was doing. I really bought it off of impulse. And I always told myself if I ever get back into, uh, you know, taking care of animals the right way, so on and so forth, I would go back and get one. And um, today was the day. All right. I like you. Hey. Hi. How long has the, uh, the Savannah monitor been here? Uh, less than a week. Less than a week. Yeah. Any health issues that you guys knew of or just Nothing got rescued? I know of. I don't remember who exactly turned it in, but there's a guy who owned it as a, her as a pet, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she got turned in at a big old cardboard box like right at the end of my shift. And next thing I knew, I walk in here and she's just laying very still with her arms spread out like this, which is apparently normal for her. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's any kind of anything. I'm not a Savannah Monitor expert, unfortunately. <laughs> I've had a couple in my time. She's cute. <laughs> she is very cute. So she needs a nail trim? That's what she was saying, yeah. yeah. But otherwise, she's pretty chill. And she eats really well. <laughs> she's definitely gonna get spoiled, but not too spoiled. <laughs> yeah, you see how long her nails are? Oh, wow, yeah. So she needs a nail trim. Um, and she can get a little huffy. Okay. And maybe like a little tail slappy, but like mm. she's never bitten. Okay. At me or her previous owner. <laughs> Perfect. Um, and the day she came in, she ate right away. <laughs> so. That's perfect. Um, she's eating mice, she'll eat rat pups, uh, crickets. You might even be able to do like salads and stuff. You'll just have to look all that up. Okay, for sure. Yeah, I got some, um, I've kept a lot of monitors in my time. Um, okay. I got some quail eggs at home. Oh yeah, um, they'll so, love those. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we're gonna so. do your right. I see she has a little nip or like a little nip down there, but nothing too crazy. Yeah, this is, you know, she's a surrender, so like, no we telling. don't know her full history. Right. I just know she was neglected in her first home. Mm -hmm. And her second homeowner is the one who brought her to us. He like nursed her back to health and then was like, I, I can't take care of her any longer. Right. So he just wanted to make sure she would go somewhere. He did a good job. That she'd be taken care of, so. All right. That tongue's flicking, which is a good sign. Yeah, <laughs> very alert. Like when we put her in there, she was exploring everywhere, like running around. So that's awesome. All right. Let me wipe this off. Oh no! All right, we've got the Savannah monitor, but boy, it's raining. We've got to go. All right, guys. So we got the Savannah monitor all boxed up right over here. We got some crickets as well for avocado and to feed um, uh, our Savannah monitor, um, our girl here. Um, she was sexed and she said to be a girl. I'm gonna take their word for it. But super stoked to have her in here. Now I gotta get home before I get swept away because it's a bad storm going on right now. We keep getting um, tornado warnings. So we're gonna get her home, get her situated. And uh, you guys, well, if this video comes out, that means I'm still alive, okay? Because I didn't, I didn't dodge from the storm. So let's go, I'm being dramatic. Dude, look at these clouds, man. I'm over here right now getting uh, gas at the gas station, and man, this does not look good. We keep getting tornado warnings. I just pray nothing happens bad, or no one gets affected if something does happen.
The National Weather Service confirms that a tornado touched down in Eureka. Brookdale Farms was hit or was in its path. It's just off Twin River Road, about 10 minutes from South uh, Six Flags St. Louis. Trying to get everyone lined up, and then all of a sudden the wind started, got a little dark. We had babies inside. We had a lady in a wheelchair, got everybody to safety, and uh, before the roof, part of the roof came off. So in the middle of this storm, I mean, I mean, literally a tornado's going on. This little booger gets out of the enclosure. What is going on? Oh, I can't see. What? Dude. Oh my goodness. This little booger got out. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we just can't panic. We're just gonna have to hang out with you. And uh, we're gonna have to fish for you to get out. Um, because I've got to drive. Oh, is that flood? Is that flood water? Oh my goodness, dude. She's going down in there. I can't. This is insane. This is insane. She's down there. Traffic is stopped. I mean, this is so wild. I just got to get home, bro. I just need to get home. All right, so we've officially made it home. It's hot in my house, per usual. We're really just in the reptile room, but Anyway, we've made it home, and um, as you can see, I've made a mess because uh, we're going to be putting the uh, Savannah Monitor in this tub right here. I was actually, again, going to put the white throat, I mean, the Kali. I was going to put the black throat monitor in here, and um, we were going to place it over there. Um, I was going to, I'm eventually going to upgrade enclosures, but I didn't really want to invest in a 40-gallon enclosure or anything of that nature. Um, simply because these things grow fast and um, I thought I was going to have one. But now that I have a Savannah monitor that will definitely be too big for a 40 gallon, um, next order of business is going to be getting a 4x2x2 four by two by two for the uh, Savannah monitor and eventually a 4x2x2 four by two by two for the, uh, the, well honestly by the time I get back to that thing it's probably going to be huge. And so um, hopefully I'm able to get back to Tim in a good, man, in a good time in a timely manner, timely fashion, so that I can, uh, you know, get it at a young age. As you can tell, this thing is just beaming me all over the place. But as you can uh, tell, you know, it has a little feistiness to it, which is cool. I love that. Um, it allows us to work with it and do our thing um, and socialize it uh, to the best of our ability. But we're going to get that thing together one of these days. But let's go ahead and get this thing cleaned out. And then we're going to uh, get the Savannah monitor, who is right in there. Uh, we're going to get her out, put her in there, and um, yeah, let's go. Also, avocado is back there, if you care. I don't know. Very minimalistic uh, setups, and I mean, these animals... You know, Savannah monitors and stuff. Yeah, they love and they need enrichment as always. But um, Savannah monitors are not, you know, your super, super active lizards. And so um, they really love to hang out, bask. Uh, you know, they will walk around a bit, but I want to be able to take her out, let her roam around the house, which is going to be a part of our socialization. And, um, you know, she won't be in the tub far too often, honestly. I wanted to, I want to make her I want to get her to the point where she just goes into this tub to bask to sleep and during the day I'm going to take her out and allow her to roam around the house because that's the type of relationship that I want her to have and that's the type of uh attitude I want her to have to know that she the house is hers she can do what she wants just like a puppy dog ain't that right ain't that right <laughs> all righty We've got our girl right here. We've got the enclosure set. So I have a uh, 100 watt uh, heat emitter that we're gonna leave right there. We're gonna keep that on constantly. It's right over the basking spot. Um, it's currently heating up. Um, and then we have our hide right here that's going to serve as a burrowing hide. Um, we still need to get a water dish in there, but um, she's been in this box long enough. Hey there. You're so cute. Ooh, we your claws are sharp. Girl, you are cute. I love you so much already. Oh, yeah, you are tough. 
Listen, I went in for a white throat monitor and I came out with a gorgeous Savannah monitor. Can't even tell the difference really, can you? And look at her just hugging onto my hand. She's like, I don't climb, dad, I don't climb. You're making me do crazy things. You're making me do crazy things. So they kept talking about, you know, she needs to sharpen her nails. I mean, not sharpen her nails, but uh, she needs to clip her nails. Um, quite honestly, I mean, with monitors, yeah, you can go in and clip them yourself. But it's good to have, like, uh, little stones and stuff like this throughout the enclosure so that they can naturally do it themselves. Let's see if she does it again. As she's digging around it clawing at it, walking over this uh, slab of, uh, over the slab of um, uh, rock, she's slowly deteriorating those nails, which in turn, they can, you know, grow back. She's not doing it now, of course, but possibly we'll be able to get some video on it. All right, guys, so this is actually day two, two, two um, of us having our girl, um, honestly, I think we're going to go with the name Savvy, um, but this is her and she's been hanging out in here, um, been thriving really well. Um, I can't wait to get her actual enclosure. I'm probably going to do like a, a four by two by two, um, here in the near future. But, um, but yeah, I mean, she has been thriving and eating like a hoss and I actually I'm going to be doing a uh, feeding video for not only just her, but also on avocado here with us as well. But what we're gonna do now is get our girl uh, Savvy, which I've named her already, if I haven't said that already. Um, uh, what we're gonna do is get her out and um, she's re really, really food motivated. And so we're gonna get her out uh, by um, treating her with the cricket or something. And then we're gonna take her into the bathtub and get her all cleaned up because she still has poop on the bottom of her chin. Boom, so this is one we're gonna try to uh, not get bit in the process of it. All right, I'm gonna climb up my arm here. I'm gonna climb up my arm, there you go. Oh, oh, there you go, there you go. There you go. And another one bites the dust. All right, so what we're gonna do here is just kind of work on some socialization. Hopefully uh, she doesn't get too startled by me. Just gonna work on some socialization, see if she'll crawl up to my hand here. Soaking is great for um, not only like hydration, but it's also great for socialization because it puts the animal in a state where it's like, all right, well, I got to kind of swim around. And if I have to swim around, that means I can't really be too focused on biting things. And so when you're not focused on biting, you're more so focused on what's at hand, which is your hand. That's where the socialization comes in because your hand is now a, if they want to get out of the water, they have to use your hand to get out, which means that they still have to trust you in a sense. I mean, I've seen animals that won't come up to your hand at all, and they're just like, I'll just see her float and drown if I have to, if, if it means not having to deal with you. Um, so, uh, I mean, this right here is just great, because now it looks like she wants to use my hand to get out, and she's hugging it, which is so cute. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, she came and gave me a hug. Yep, we're gonna put you back down there. Okay, all right. Well, uh, if you wanna come out, then uh, we're gonna let you come out because um, we're on your time. You know what I mean? We're on your time. All right, we're on your time. Hey. All right. Oh, she got it. You got it, girl. You got it. You got it. All right, guys. That's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is my third time doing this outro, so I'm a little on the heated side and plus it's hot in here and I'm sweating all of this other stuff, but I keep running out of storage. And then I flip the camera around and it's like, oh, you were out of storage 10 minutes ago. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video for the third time. 
as always, um, hope you guys enjoyed uh, hanging out with Savvy, the Savannah Monitor, the new addition to our family here. I'm so happy that we were able to grab her. Um, this is her third home, so I'm sure she's like, man, I hope this is my forever home. I promise, girl, unless something crazy freaky happens, you're with me forever. But um, yeah, you guys got to hang out with Savvy, the Savannah Monitor. Also, you guys got to check out Tim with Extreme Exotics, who is a really dope guy. Um, if you guys are ever in the Missouri area, be sure to check out his reptile shop as long as the as well as the other reptile shop that I checked uh, that I went to um, two really great um, shops here in the Missouri area. Also, if you're ever in the Missouri area, uh, be sure to say hello because I like to speak as well. Um, and yeah, uh, tell those guys that I sent you if you watch this video and you went over there because of me or whatever. I don't know. Do your thing. But uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up. Um, yeah, in the future, we're going to be doing some videos on socialization as well as uh, some feeding videos because, as you can see, she is very food motivated. Savvy is there. Um, and so that's that's really fun. I mean, avocado is food motivated, but this girl is like, like this, this is what you get monitors for to see stuff like that. So I'm excited to grow with her, get her some new meals and everything and uh, see how that goes. But uh, yeah, without further ado, God loves you. So do I. Spread love, not hate. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Yee! If you enjoy content like this, be sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, and consider giving this video a like. As always, God loves you, and so do I. Spread love, not hate.